be pure whiteness from anything. So they ins they instituted that racial integrity act because if you had any type of nigga and you, you was out, but before that you already had mixed race mulattoes walking up and you know all around. So they had already knew it was mixed race, but you had white people that was passing. You had white people with black ancestry that was passing for white that they wanted to separate from. That's that's why they put the act in place. Right, but okay. So again, if you think about with the you include the Indians in this now because that that's yeah. who's it got destroyed and burned during the Integrity Act, right? Yeah, Again, yes. They were talking about anybody who isn't pure white. So I no agree. the second generation or the 10th generation, they would all apply as not being pure white. They, they're not. Right. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? So, it, I mean, it's literally the only point I'm making is every generation after the first drop is a one drop. Everyone. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I, I mean, I got you. I'm just looking at it. I'm just looking at it because, like, it's, it's when you get into when you get into Virginia and places like Louisiana and all the reclassifications of people and what they was doing with all the mixed racing and mixing off mixing the people, and then you look at the um, uh, Walter Plecker and the Racial Integrity Act is the reason why they instituted. It. So what I'm saying is the act of of what the, of the conversation was already going on, so they had to institute a rule. So I, I mean, you know. Yeah, I, can, yeah. I, I can see both sides because there's a reason why it came, but way before the rule came, you had already had the stuff there. Right. But, but, if, you don't, but if you don't establish who's white by saying the rest of y'all ain't, it's now and forever forward. If you, I mean, because even when they had to change the shit in the 80s in Louisiana, it was always either you're white or you're a one drop rule child. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, so it's like it's not down the line. It's today. It's, you know what I'm saying? Like you're a one drop child today, and and your children will be one drop children, and so on and so forth until yeah, that, I mean, that one thirty second of Negro blood is gone. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, I got you. I think well, isn't before before you had the act, before you had the act, they still had black codes, and they had uh, all set up already for black and mixed race people. It was already a distinction. They just this just right here just enforced it even harder, but there was already a distinction. I mean, if you was black going from the north to the south, you had to carry papers, you know, like like you know. So it's 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 uh, it, it they already had distinctions. They already knew who basically, they already knew who was who. Walter Flecker just came with some slick shit, you know. He wanted to implement some slick shit because he was diabolical and wicked. So he took it to a whole nother level. Right. So, yeah. Right. He made it worse to the point where. It's not just if your mom or dad is black, motherfucker. It's your great, great, great granddaddy. <laughs> you know what That's what I'm saying. Like, like that one drop rule is is, is just the proof that it's, it's, it's not just today, it's yesterday too. But you yeah. can't discount today's part. That one drop rule was for direct descendants and everyone thereafter. She was wrong. Right. But she left. <laughs> right. Or anybody that can, what's going on, Taz and uh, George Misson, Midtown Pookie? What's going what up? On? Uh, long, first time on, on your show, Taz, uh, if you remember me. <laughs> Al Juan? Yeah, yeah. Up? From TRS, what's good, fam? Yeah, yeah, what's going on? What's up with you? Yeah, man, this is a, a topic that's been uh, making a lot of the news and the rounds, man, and it's crazy. People can only infiltrate what you allow them to infiltrate. I mean, if People are black or, or white trying to go undercover as black. That shouldn't be allowed to happen without a disguise, you know? <laughs> I mean, the only way that can happen is if somebody is saying, you know what? I like this whiteness. I, I like the way they're talking, like a Michi X. That's another person I bring up a lot. I like the way they talk. They talk with that fiery ghetto hood rat attitude. So they've convinced me that they're black enough. No, 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 no. It's not supposed to go down like that. If they have the white traits, God damn it, then you should scrutinize them. You should say, hey, why are you black and why do you think that you should be black? Now, I can understand uh, a lot of these imposters that's been going on uh, out here lately. If they said, let's say if you were in college and you went up to one of these people and they said something like, hey, brother, you know, uh, I want to see you do well, brother. You might say to yourself, Oh, that's the sister? 
Well, I ain't gonna question her, but you know, I, I ain't gonna rock with that either. But you, you ain't gonna really say nothing about it. But the more that she keeps talking about it after a while, you might say to yourself, okay, let me ask this lady some questions. What's going on here? <laughs> you know, but you see a lot of people like that. Like, what's that guy, Rock Newman? You know, that's another guy. If he didn't say, hey, brother, <laughs> I'm working for my people. All that kind of talk, you just say, hey, man, this looks like a white dude to me. You know, and, and that's the thing. We got to uh, stop being able to be fooled. We got to make clear and uh, uh, cut rules on what it is and what black is and what, what black is not. And for me, black doesn't come with blue eyes and green eyes. I don't give a damn. I know I know. there's a lot that's going to say, hey, I got green eyes, but that usually means you got some iris and some German in you. And there ain't no getting around that. So you just can't let anybody in just because they... I, they I got a question. Well, I, I got a question. Man, what the fuck is this nigga talking about? I got, I got a question. <laughs> hey, Tad. I, 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 I got a question for Taz. Hey, Taz. Hey, Taz. Listen, right? When, I, when, you, when you was... Uh, 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 but building earlier on the stream, and I know we got some thirsty ass niggas out here. They love them white women. They love them white men and all that shit, right? But I asked my wife this question, right? When the Rachel Dolezal thing came up, because black women are very territorial, especially when it comes to the men that they like, and when it That's comes facts. To, when it comes to black women, period. I asked my wife. I said, "How did how did she get away? How did how, how did black how did the sisters let her get away with this? Like, it's no sister that saw her and said, get this bitch out of here.'" She like women. I, I've been around black women my whole life. Black women are more way more territorial than men. How does she get through it's to the system? Very easy, oh, yeah. Sense. I was gonna say shit, nigga. That's that's Jessica X, ain't it? Huh? That's that, that's that's Jessica X, ain't it? I mean, because if you think about just like if you look at how the levels of protection go up, like even right. for um, think about when me and CNG did that video about Kobe, right. and then right. they came for us then. Wife just did a video about Kobe wife. They coming for her now. You can't speak to women who try to slip in and slip up under the radar. They always say black women jealous of other women for speaking on. Oh, okay. I get yeah, because that's what I was wondering. Cause I, I I get it with the dude stuff, because we be arguing with these dudes all day. But I was I was like, babe, like like I watch women. Women are women are way more vicious than they, than we are. I was like, how did she how does she, does she, how does she come into the hair salon? How does she come to sit down with the girls and nobody like looked at her and said, What is she doing here? Right. Come black. Hey George, you're right about that. Black women are very territorial. Very well, black isn't, women. Isn't it safe to say that the protocol set in place by white supremacy was gonna allow it to come to this uh kind of conversation? They knew that they could weaponize the fact that okay, well, we're going to apply the one drop rule right now, but it's also going to be applicable based on the actions of this mixed person. That's why they put oh, names shit. and labels on the person who's going to come after that mixed person. So we have to make that distinction for ourselves. All this time, we've been going off of the basis of white people's standards, not unknowingly feeding into their world. If we had brought this label to ourselves saying that the cutoff is the mixed person they're after is considered white if they choose to procreate white because Man. they have established Agreed. it. Yeah, I agree with because that. They, just because they established it to where it can go on for another three or two or three generations, they can take advantage of using that body, that actual placeholder for whiteness. So as black people, we need to have to set a standard. My standard, and I can I can't speak for anyone else, but for me, that mixed person is that median between the two races. The moment that mixed person decides to procreate with a white person, that child from that union is no longer considered to be black to me, period, 100%. At the end of the day, I can call that white person a mixed white person, but I do not think a person who has three white grandparents and one black grandparent has an enough understanding of the black experience to actually have the body to experience that. So it needs to reflect the understanding. As for me, I've met all my great grandparents. They are black as fuck. So I have no problem understanding that I'm a black woman. So I don't want to have that kind of conversation with another mixed person. I hate looking online on Instagram, seeing children with curly blonde hair with blue eyes. Their father is mixed, but their mother is a whole cracker. And it's on an Instagram with hashtag African-American children. I feel slighted and I feel disrespected. 
And this is something yeah, hold on, from the Hold on, hey. Al Quan, hey, hello, Al Quan. But you be on psycho shit, be talking. You be calling biracials a goddamn black, uh, but no, not a day. No, 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 you no, no, call me Ryan Carey black. No, I didn't. I didn't. I, I never mentioned. I, I never. Call, I, bring, I bring up Lena Horn. That's why I bring up. She ain't because black. Why when That's why I bring her up. Hold on, hold on. But let's let's deal with that for a second, though, because I think that's important. Listen, because like I think there's a a. Conversation in that in itself, because look, I I call some biracial people black. If you if you live black and all I see is black from you, I don't have any other choice but to identify you as what you identify yourself as in that regard. I'm not talking culturally black. I'm talking about ideologically black, and your actions are black. I'm not I mean, say yeah. I don't know. I, mentality matters. I, I look, mentality I look, Tad, I respect that because I, I, I grew up with some biracials like that here. I got biracial family member that's like that. But at the same time, do do? that's still not your genetics. I don't care how much I love you or care about no, you, you still yeah. not black. But right. see, you know, that label of black, yes. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard, hard to really, deny that. I, I, you know, I, I call them mixed. Because I, I don't want to call them a white person. I don't want to call them a whole black person. They are a mixture. Right. What if, what if some of these mixed people races. look blacker than a lot of light skinned black people? But they still look. I don't care. Look. Look. They still, they still I mix. See it that way. Well, but but I just, you just said oh, earlier, though, it's about the, uh, oh, if you grew oh, up black, you the know, black I experience. Think, we can stay on the surface level on this, though. We don't have to go too deep yep. into the rabbit hole. Because this is what I'm saying. It's on a simple level. Look, if we saying that. Black people in America are what we're designated as. Then yes, they are. If we create our own narrative and get coming up with a new idea of who is and isn't black, then we have to do that too. But it's not being done with men running around with white women, and they're not being held to the fire. You can't say who is and isn't if you don't want to live that shit. And I live it, so it's hard as fuck to do. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you if you just think about some of the conversations I've had here, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, for example, well, psychopathy well, says, nah, Taz, biracials can be pro-black, but they are not black. I get that. But in America, they're black. They're like, you know what I'm saying? So it, on paper, a biracial person is black. If Unless they, they look too white, black, though. They live well, black. I actually have a, a statement to that. Since we're talking about whether or not we have to have a set of standards, we have to also understand that we all do not think the same when it comes to. Um, hey, 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 excuse me. I just, hold on. I, I got to go. I don't mean to interrupt you, but I got to go run somewhere real quick. But mm -hmm. Taz, I understand what, uh, what you were saying, but now I, I don't agree with that. I feel like you got to still have two black parents in order to be black. And I feel like we have to start setting that standard in. And we have not been holding black men or black women accountable going who run around with white people. But this is what we got to make a start. Hell, they started with their one drop rule. So why can't we start right here in 2020 with our, our full, you got to have two black parents in order to be black. You know what I'm saying? And start understand. enforcing that shit for that to be an understanding of now. I agree. Mm -hmm. Moving I agree. forward. But, but my problem is when you look <laughs> You know, when we start looking at who's already here, the, the standard was just simply having a black parent for the longest. So you have yeah. to, that that five generations of people who were raised as black because they have one black parent. I don't believe that you can just cut that off. And I don't believe it's beneficial if the person is saying, hey, look, but I'm black. I only know black. I identify as black. <laughs> But look, look, but okay, then the way you the look, the way the way you do that, the way you as a biracial person, okay, yeah, you can scream that to the mountaintops. But for me, the way you are, you prove that you really about this black shit, then you need to be green black. You feel what I'm saying? Then your kids need to be black. Yeah, that's, you know what that's, I'm saying? Yeah, that's the proof. Breeding black is the proof. Yeah, yeah, that's one way of doing it. But see, that's why a lot of black guys will have uh, the kids with the white woman, and then. They'll say, okay, well, the one drop says this kid is black. Good enough. You know, I can get all the white women I want. No. Well, see, but here's the issue also. When we keep, when we try to make these distinctions between blackness, understand that what we keep applying religion to that factor, thinking that somehow the male DNA is stronger than the woman DNA, when it's applied with race, as far as I can understand, before my parents even came in conjunction with each other, 
the mere fact that in the process of the egg and the sperm, before that he wasn't even happy, I was destined to be black. So my sex is determined afterwards. In that case, we have to do, in religion, we have to separate who holds that power, the male or the female, because in science, it doesn't matter. So I see it as if, if, if you have a one distinguishedly different white parent and a black parent, that's a mixed person. And we can't just say, oh, well, because the father is black and somehow the child is more black. Because as we can see, Zad Zadana, her father is black as fuck and her child and their kid came out very, very, very light. So we also have to consider the admixtures in the African-American population. Can I say so, something? I mean... Uh, uh, that's what the historical context of these things. African American. Yeah. I I can only say that because I'm I'm from Jamaican ancestry. I understand that in my lineage, I, I have probably more Chinese and Indian than I have European. Right. Oh. So, yeah, so, so you're not a black I, American. When I say okay. that I'm gonna most likely appropriate. Yeah, so, you know, no. See now, I got standards. I got standards. I'm, I'm, I'm like, if you ain't black American, you ain't one of us. That's that's my standard. I know. I understand that. So, yeah, I, I always, I've always understood that I was not AWS, and I have no issue with that. But I, I always believe that at the end of the day, when we talk about race, admixture and mixed racing, we, we have the same, we have the same issue in Jamaica as well. So I have to also consider what I have to call the mixed people in my family, because those standards do it still apply. When you say African American. You gotta understand that in that statement alone, you're making mixed people black. Because that's that's what that information means. That's 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 the government said that that's the one you know for. That's what I'm saying. Black really ain't got a standard to it. We can argue black. Thank you. But it, once you say African American, you've included people of mixed race. They 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 keep just think about who's African American. Not really, because there's mixed race people in Jamaica as well. Yeah, they have but, black yeah, and the yeah, white. They're, 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 they're all Jamaican. Yeah, I, I see what Taz is saying. Oh no, Jamaica right, is not right. synonymous with black though, because there's actually African the history in Jamaica differs very different from America. So you can't really you can't. Yeah, that's why I don't like talking about not, foreign countries and stuff when thing. it relates to us. You know, no, no, African Americans are made up of mixed race though. Like we we we're considered black. Because yes. we were pushed to the side and told we were, and, you know, and told we, yes. we, you know, we were yes. that. But we we have different mixtures today. But my thing is this: my thing is this. When you're dealing with just us in this culture and trying to implement the stuff that we're talking about, first of all, what's, what's what incentivizes people to even want to be black or build black families? You have to have a culture. You right. have to have a culture that dictates how we treat each other, how we dress, what we eat, how right. all of that stuff has been busted up. So mm -hmm. when we go to the institutions to get education, we want to be under them. We complain about them, but we don't do nothing to build our own stuff. So you can't get none of that stuff. So in America, for real, for real, we complain about racism, but we just Americans as black people because mm -hmm. we don't have nothing to set up to set us aside. We got brown skin. That's about it. But I, I keep trying to I'll be trying to find out as opposed to our great grandparents, who is the we? You know, where's the we? Because we don't we don't move together as a we, as a people. We move together as individuals. Just hmm. think about it. Just think about this, right? I think we all can, though, George. No, I, 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 mean, I, 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 I'm, 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 think about the move in the past, though. I mean, like we always have moved as individuals, but the goal was the same. I don't right. Wrong right. with that. I think people ain't well, goal oriented. Well, though. well, I would say this. Well, I would say this back then. Back then, racism was so overt and vicious. We we still had a, a different understanding and our separatism, where where it was a different, it was looked at differently. When you look at now, where where, where they give you this illusion of inclusion, and it's these white men can go get them, go get it, Becky. Man, most of these most of our people today, they ain't on none of that shit. Just think about this task. All the uh, um, most of the most of the people that that's really talking eighty eightos and pro black stuff. It's people that's like on YouTube or people that's like part of certain organizations. The black church and our, the regular blue yeah, the, collar workers. The church workers is definitely work. not talking about oh, this. Oh, yeah. The black church and the regular blue collar worker that go to work every day, they don't give a fuck about no yeah, they, don't care. they ain't on that. It's just it's a select group. It's a very small group. The majority of black folks, man, just want white people to stop calling them niggas. That's it. They don't give a fuck about nothing else. 
But the black critics of the Eidos uh, type uh, mindset are usually those who have compromised ancestry, you know, in background. That's that's true too. So I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm a little. That's why I say that Ronda Rousey's identification is problematic because if you are talking about <laughs> in terms of Eidos and reparations, would she consider would she qualify? And that is the uh, question. And I, well, I, 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 this is the way I look like at that. it. There's a point uh, where mixing, when you start mixing and blending, and once sometimes somebody ends up on the other side after all that mixing, black becomes white, white becomes yeah, black. It will. As far, right. far as I'm concerned, Ronda Rousey, if she walks around and white people call her, treat her normally without discrimination, white. she's white. Bottom line. Yeah, yeah now, but wait, so yeah, yeah, out there. Yes. Out there. But she, but now, she does qualify. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, I need you to stop there. Because that's 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 a great point to get back to the point. Now, let's say Ronda Rousey came out the opposite. My great grandfather black, motherfucker, I'm black. I'm the first black UFC dot 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 dot. That's the problem. The <laughs> there. You know what I'm saying? Because again, now she would literally be a one dropper based on what y'all were saying earlier. But I'm saying she always was. And so she would have the ability in today's culture to come and say, but yeah, but my great grandfather black. What about that? Well, I, I think a lot of black people might say, go ahead, girl. And right. say, oh, I'm but, glad because yep, a lot of dark skinned people. We have a they, lot of we have a lot of black people who don't mind sharing their blackness with the same motherfucking people. And they want to. Oh, all she gotta do is go to church. Away. You don't care. All she gotta do is go to the <laughs> church and pray. Raise her hands, you know, put a little perm rods in her hair, you know, go out in the sun a little bit. They'll definitely accept her. That's yeah. she gotta do that. All she gotta do is go to church. It's they put her hands up and pray to Jesus. And that's it. They they gonna protect her in as one of theirs. I mean, look, look, they call Drake a light skinned black guy. And, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. and that's He's not the case. Man. Yeah, I get offended by that. Because uh, he's not like the black man, he's a yeah, mixed yeah. man, yeah, yeah. Then yeah. I always throw in the East Indian because that one I do it to confuse people and because it you know kind of goes against but, a lot of people's uh, see, conceptions already, but, you know. But see, but see, I think that the, the, the motto thing I'm, I'm gonna go in different when it comes to that because when you know, understanding our history here in America, man, and the mulatto, I know we looking at mulattoes differently today because they're trying to reclassify everything. But in mm -hmm. our, our history, in our great history, mulattoes uh, had good and a lot of good and a lot of bad when it comes to our history. So I, I don't just throw all mulattoes away because we got a lot of great mulattoes that stood on the front line for black people. So I don't throw all mulattoes away. But historically, yeah. Which I can't hear you, Ted. No, I was I was saying that it, the problem is that people make it a standard, like or like it's okay to right. do. It. And so, right. You know, no, I agree with that. I agree I with that. I don't that. ever want to like just erase the past or none of that. But like, if we gonna you know talk about it, we have to talk about it in a way where we don't want that either. We want if we gonna have something to claim historically, we don't we don't want it to be because America made it that way. And so, but this is what I wanted to say about this comment: psychopathias made here, though. Now look, bruh. Think about what America is set on. They're going to go back to that 132nd argument and say all of those people were disenfranchised. So uh, anything about um, the one drop rule and reparations together, I think it would be based on that 132nd rule, the one the one that, that was written. And so you're going to have it over it won't be us. It's, it's like it won't be just fifty percent. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. gonna be that one thirty second, bro. That's why I was gonna be a Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. They they set this in protocol because they knew at some point that we'll come to this point where we are going to demand our reparations. So who uh, are they going to qualify as an a you know an Ados, an American descendant well, of? Well, damn, sure, no, no, nobody so from the Caribbean, they, or Africa, they, that's for sure. No, no, I'm I'm not talking about me. I'm not. I'm, I'm just, I know I don't qualify for reparations. I'm not asking for it. I'm just talking about if you're talking about reparations, because if we're gonna have the conversation here, we're gonna have the same conversation in Jamaica. We have the same issues. We have the no, 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 actually, we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. Well, no, I'm I'm talking about in terms of the mixed people. I, I would prefer to have you know the reparations from Britain not to be given to the same mixed people because there are our white English people in Jamaica right now. Who have still benefited from slavery 
So but for my interactions with Jamaicans, you guys a, consider everybody Jamaicans, East Indian, Chinese, all types. No, 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 no. So yeah, see, I was actually going to make a video on that because I'm, we're talking about what's her name, um, Kamala Harris. I actually want to have a conversation about that because there is there is a historical distinction, and when we have a conversation amongst Afro Jamaicans and other Indo and you know Asiatic Jamaicans. Jamaican is the nationality part. So we have that model, you know, out of out of one one people. So we have that mindset as well, which is also damaging for us. So I don't think that I I accept all of that inclusivity shit that goes on in Jamaica, because I don't. And that's actually one of the few things that I want to talk about on my channel, because at the end of the day, I want my black people in Jamaica to also be but see, who, who's black who's black in jamaica though because jamaica. see me i would consider the east well, indians black too well my family is okay well i can explain both my parents are black you can visually see that they are black i've met both of their parents as well my grandparents and i've met my father's great-grandparents so i'm very sure that i have black ancestry now right, right but what about the east indians on like? the other hand i have other family I have Chinese and indian that's what I'm saying. Yes, they have their own separate groups. They have been in Jamaica just as long as the black, the Africans have been there. Now, the Africans the have been there is, longer, we've or if you want to call them Africans, a, a little, a little longer. Yes, a lot but longer. I'm talking about indentured, the indentured Indians. They didn't. They came maybe no, no more than less than 50, 150 years later. So what I'm talking about, there is a closer. We've had a much closer time around each other than over oh, here in the United, United States. Right. So how, like for an example, curry chicken. Curry chicken is a mixture of an African technique mixed with a little Indian. The same with jerk chicken. Jerk chicken is more African in nature. Roti. Roti is more Indian than it is African. So we've blended some things in certain cultures, but and the word kumtang, that's Indian but, too. Uh, but understand the racial animosity, it also resides in Jamaica as well. So we can't act as though, okay, well, we're all, you know, all happy and go lucky. There are racial issues that goes on. So that's, that's, I, I don't Jamaica. consider that racial. I consider that cultural and national. Not really, because the African, the, Af the black Afro Jamaicans have issues with the Indo Jamaicans, just like they have issues with the China, right. the right. It's mainly, Chinese. Mainly, mainly so cultural. it's not cultural, it's racial. How's it racial the, if you got de black, you're dealing with two different black peoples? Listen, no. We're dealing with Indians, actual Indians. Who are black? No, I'm no. These are that's what I'm saying. That's what you're not understanding. These are not the dark skinned Indians we're talking about. We're dealing mainly the light skinned Indians from India. And oh, I see a lot of dark skinned Indians in in the. In the I, no, I'm not saying that they don't exist there, but most of those people identify as black. But the Indians, Indians that I'm talking about, are the ones that look identifiably like Kamala Harris. Okay, there so is what, a the, big population of those type of Indians in Jamaica. So they're not, we don't, they're not considered African. They're not considered of African history. But well, when I look at like Trinidad myself. and Guyana, I see the Indians in control. Well, they're, they're not that, but they're not that saying. light. They're pretty okay, dark. But they have different histories. You keep West India. I, I, this is why I, I, I try to make my presence known. Because what y'all do is y'all jumble West Indians. Like we're all, we all experience the same thing when we didn't. The Trinidadians, they have their own racial dynamic going on in their country. Just the same with the Jamaica. Haiti is completely different from Dominican Republic, and they're on the same landmass because they have a completely different history. Their racial demographics differ. The same with Haiti. The same with the Bahamas. Cuba. All of these places have their own. That's why I try to make my distinction known as a Afro-Jamaican. As a person you. who has eight black, grand, black people in my family, I can distinguishly say that I have African lineage, but there are individuals in Jamaica who have been in Jamaica for two, three hundred years who have never mixed race with African people or the Chinese. So they've been living in Jamaica. So nationality, yes, they're Jamaican. Culturally, yes, they're Jamaican, but racially, they still identify with their racial background. You talk about coolies, about coolies right? The coolies. Coolies, yes, yes. yes. So, so I've been making a premise. I've been making a premise on my Twitter for the last two months that Kamala Harris is not a black woman. Her father is no, a coolie and her mother is an actual Indian woman. So that doesn't make her a black woman. But her mother, her, her mother was blacker. You can argue her mother no, is blacker her than mother, her father. No, her mother is a light skin. She's no, she's not light skin. She's a your what you would call your modern colored Europeanized 
Indian woman. So she's not your. Nah, see, you, you throw a whole bunch of extra stuff in woman. here. How about no, just on her brown they, skin or melanated matter. woman? How about no, that? No, no, those things <laughs> matter though, because in India they also have their colorism issue. So but that's they, India though. We talking in general. I understand though. that. Okay, but listen, the people who left India, most of those people who were indentured servants were not your dark skinned Indians. Now I'm not saying that they don't, they're not in Jamaica, but the predominant population of the Indians that come to in to Jamaica are not your stereotypical dark skinned Indians. My brother's I saw mother pictures is, of them and, and a my, lot of them were. Okay, I understand that. You can see pictures, but the I've been to Jamaica. That I've been sad. around these people. My my brother, my brother's <laughs> mother is what you would call a dark skinned coolie, but she identifies herself as black because her father is an actual like he's a black man with kinky hair. Her mother is a dark skinned woman with she has you know naps in her hair, but it's not your Africanoid hair. So there's <laughs> different variations. Of, I'm telling you, it's a very deep history and we have a surface level conversation about this, not understanding that each of these Please, islands I'm, have their I'm, own I'm, history. Because that, 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 that's a place that's like majority black, right? So it can't really yeah, be the same. Yeah, no, 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 no. Jamaica is, yeah, Jamaica is a, it's predominantly black, con it's a predominant country, right? Yes. But we have they four very distinct. Con we have very we have four very distinct races within our whatever. Well, see, Trinidad is a more extreme uh, example cultures. if you want to go into the Caribbean with Indian and so-called African. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not Trinidian. I'm not Trinidad. Yeah, but I mean, well, I'm not. I'm not Jamaican, but we, we but we're talking about that though. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you about Jamaican. That's what I'm trying to explain. But I prefer to just talk about uh, Black Americans so myself. But, yeah. Okay. Because you in the predominantly black places, like you, like black fishing is irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? Those places are predominantly black. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know why those people will argue over any of that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, know, I don't even know why they make those types of divisions. No, no, argue about it. But when we talk about places. individuals like Kamala Harris, then it becomes problematic. No, I can tell you why in the Caribbean because. Those those coolies and stuff that came over, uh, the British gave them more privilege over black people. Yes, and places that's what like I'm saying. The, the guy, you know, was they able to them though? Aren't they mixed? I'm just saying, saying they white mixed supremacy, supremacy is done the same thing over here, but they just use different people. So they we have Some they them. have racial disdain against African people in Jamaica. Don't yeah. be fooled by that. I don't think they gave them more privilege. I think they but, just no, they, no, they no, were they, no, they, they gave them more privilege. Trust me. What they did was they bought. They didn't have any choice though, but to go though. They bought a lot of them over. I don't know what else. To go. Uh, some of them, some some of them, some of them they classified as black and mixed in, but a lot of them became uh, black. Yeah, yeah, most of them got benefits no, for identifying with Indian. A lot of the women became uh, the white men's servants, and they and yes. a lot of them did, and they mixed in, and uh, yes. especially like like Trinidad, you got some in Cuba, you got a lot in Guyana. They was the ones that killed Walter Rodney. Yeah, uh, uh, they was fighting over the uh, over the politics because they was able to get into positions of power under the yeah. British. So yes, we have a very, we have a similar understanding. Understand that white supremacy has done the same the same type of tactic on all of these islands. They just weaponized whoever was there. So they right. did the same. They did the same thing. So that's why. When but, I but whatever the case is, though, Kamala Harris. So that's your uh, your she's sister. Not a black your woman. But that's your sister, and she's got black she's in not her. A black, and... She's not a no. She's not a black woman. Her what, father what's is black? Mixed. What's black? What's her black to you? Is mixed. Her father is mixed, and her mother is non-African. So she's you, not oh, a oh, black oh, woman. Wait, hold up, pause, pause, pause. So you said her mother is non-African. So that means that her, her mother is non-African. She's not a she's not a black woman. Period. Oh, oh so you have to be you have to be African to be woman. black. You have to be she's African. An to be Indian black? woman from India. But hold up, do you have to be African to be black? Yeah, in America, she's, she's an African. Not, she's not. She's she's not. She's not an African. She's not even a black. No, woman. I just asked you. Do you have to be African to be black? No, she doesn't have to be African. But her her okay. mother is not a black woman. Her, <laughs> so you, father, <laughs> her father is a mixed man. Okay, so you said say you don't have to be African Indian to be black. So black in him. he's you not you, considered a black. She's trying to avoid answering the question. You, you said you said, no, though. No. In America, that's what I want to make sure we get back to. In America, yeah. in America, based on your standards, she's considered an Indian woman. Like fucking Sean King is a whole white. No, no, no. In America, in, in America, I think that the mistake that's being made is 
What happens you is automatically when you automatically assume Jamaican yeah. means black, not understanding the racial on, aspect. Hold on, sis. Hold on, sis. And, 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 so and the character. Mother not racially a black woman. No, hold on. I'm I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help. In, in the Caribbean, they have different uh different racial classifications. Yeah. So when you come to America, man, you like brown, man. It was they were so racist when you came. See, and I'm a product of this. When you came up here in America, man, in the 40s, the 50s, the 30s, the 20s, going back, and you was brown, you was black, man. You was over there with those people. They didn't have all these ambiguous terms and all that kind of stuff. This is just right. America. That's why to this day in America, when you come here and you got you got your hair can go into an afro, man, and you got brown skin, and you come over here not acting black, we call you a coon and tell you to get away from us. Whereas though you go down to the Caribbean, you got different complexions, but certain groups don't fuck with certain groups. Right. Now, so, you can't with an afro, you speak Spanish, then they call you Spanish. Well, no, my, no, right. well my mother, no, no, my mother no, called me Spanish, depends. and my Afro Latino. No, no, it all depends on what you look like, because you had you had thousands of uh, uh, people that came from Puerto Rico and, and 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 places like that that was black, and they was over there with the niggas. No, they weren't. Yes, they yeah, were. They I don't were. know where you get your from, man. Yeah, shit. Personal experience. They're over there. They're over there with other Spanish-speaking no, people. No, Roberto Clemente was with black. Man, yeah, you gotta go check your history. No, nah, I don't know about that. But when you yeah, say from, uh, wait, 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 you gotta know the history. The history oh, matters. Spanish speaking shouldn't have nothing to do with that, though. When you say they over there with other Spanish speaking people, that don't mean they don't have any uh, black heritage, though, right? Because right, I mean, you got. Well, no, well, I, I, I thought that's he was assuming a, 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 a black mindset. You know, that's why no, I thought he was what I'm telling at. you. What I'm telling you is in this country, in this country, when you look at the history of this country. Right. When you got here from when you got here from the Caribbean, because the white man was the one trading us and mixing and matching us and moving around. He knew who we was more than we knew ourselves. When you got here, if you spoke Haitian, if you was a goddamn Dominican and you look like me, your ass was a nigga and over there with the black people. And you lived in Brooklyn. You lived in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. You lived in all those places. And you was part mm -hmm. of the abolitionist mm -hmm. movements. No, nah, that's not true. That's not true. I'm from New York. You got, you got, you got, me too. That's, that's not true. Seen. That's not true. That's, that's, that's well, what you and I ain't was. That is absolutely true. Yeah, no, not, because what my, my my was. That is the UN. He just the he just my, just my experience is Spanish man. Hispanic He's peoples, black. Dominicans, Puerto Ricans always stuck to the, themselves. Prove it. Prove it. Bro, you, how can I prove it? I can I get you a, a videotape of my memories or what? Hey Alquan, listen to what I'm telling you, bro. What he just described was the UNIA, but they had but, chapters in every one of them countries, bro. Everywhere you saying that people stuck to themselves, that's where Garvey was making moves at across the diaspora, bro. But when, he was, when he was doing his business for them couple years, he had plugs in them places, but them same countries. It wasn't just, you can't, you can't say that they weren't this way. What George described was the UNIA. But did you just country. say, you said he had plugs in those countries? Yes. yes. Oh, well, and, I'm talking and, about the United States and, and, and the hood. No, well, I'm going to tell you, and when you said with the headquarters, shit, headquarters here? No, nah, well, there was none. There's none of that. Huh? Nah, 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 nah. When you did, when you deal with the Harlem Renaissance, I, I, how come Puerto Ricans had the Young Lords and, and they ain't joined the Black Panthers? That's, nigga, that's, that's, young, the Young here, Lords here. Part of the movement. What are you talking about? You said what? Here. The Young Lords and the Berets is part part of the movement. What are you talking about? Yeah, and that's forty years oh. later too. Though. Movement. And on top of that, when you deal with the Harlem Renaissance and you deal with people like Schomburg and all these different, all of these, all of these from Trinidad, from Trinidad, like Casper Holstein, all of these people was in, they were black people in the black community. Well, you, the now you're community. conflating things now because I'm, I'm, I'm stuck on the Hispanic. Not, not no, I, I, I just told you Schomburg. All okay. of these, all of these people, if you deal with, go look at the Harlem Renaissance, look at early Philadelphia. What I'm saying to, what I'm saying to you is, what I'm saying to you is, when you got here in America, you was a nigga, period. We just talked about the Walter Plecker and, and, and the Racial Integrity Act. You was a nigga, period. That's they not the case because they, on paper, they're not a nigga. And, and why do you think they got so many? You, you oh don't just have dark-skinned Spanish-speaking people. You got some that look kind of white. Wait, wait, wait. Who ain't a nigga on paper? Uh, Hispanics. That's why they call Hispanics. <laughs> But they Dominican, are Dominicans, Puerto Ricans. No, they're not classified as. Uh, oh, looking at, oh, looking at black, this, this is why. This is what only the closest you can get to it is that they throw them in the hoods. Let me let me tell you how far it goes back. This is the problem with knowing that you got to make sure you understand this. And when 
those people came from the Caribbean and everything else. They didn't care who you were, dog. When it came to racial identification, it was this right here. A white person is one with no trace or whatever of blood of another race. If you had anything other than white, nigga, you was black in America. Yes. No, no but they, they classified Puerto Ricans early on as like mixed. No. They, they, they didn't want to call them black. They didn't want to call them black. No. <laughs> yes. I, that I know for sure. Okay, I, so, I guarantee you that. So now I'm going to take you to the census and I'm going to ask you how they were able to classify them as anything other than black when there wasn't no other classifications there. Because you got to remember, it was a time when the classifications didn't but color. anything but color. Color. Either you white or you, you're something else. Okay. Well, I'll tell you this. I was looking at the eyes on the prize uh, scene and they had some white uh, this is from the early 60s. They had some white lady right next to a so-called Latina and she was saying something to the effect that I can't accept black people because they're just so different. Their hair. But yet okay. a Hispanic with straight hair right next to her and apparently they were cool back then. They, okay. they, they allowed them to get away with things. <laughs> well, man, this is safe to say that it's important to know each other's ethnic, you know, ethnic backgrounds for us to make a, a thorough assessment of how we're supposed to dictate and talking about these type of things, because these mixed race in conversations, it's not just an American thing. It, well, I think the safest in, way is just for Black Americans to worry about us and no, other people I, I worry totally about agree. themselves, yeah, and others totally shouldn't agree. get involved in our business, and then everything would be simple. I, I agree with you. I truly agree. No, you don't. Okay. If, if we were doing, if, see, I would agree if we was doing business, but like these is just conversation. Like we ain't, we ain't got no pressure on no government. Ain't nobody defining nothing. Niggas don't know shit. So I'm gonna put this shit on the screen so you can show me when they started identifying these motherfuckers. <laughs> well, let me explain something. I I was born in this country. And... One second, because like I, I, I went and pulled this shit up for a reason. Cause this is this is why we do this type of content. I, I want to make sure you understand it. Okay, so can, can you can you read that? Okay. These are the classifications of the census, right? So in 1890, either you were white, black, mulatto, quadroon, octoroon, Chinese, Japanese, or Indian. Indian being quote unquote Native American, not West Indian. Mm -hmm. So tell me, where would a person from the islands identify in that census? Uh, I think when we. Now you said a person from the this island. You talking Hispanic? Man, it's it's hard oh. explaining. Oh, no, Taz, Taz, you talking Hispanic? Yes. Okay, so I think we could start in 1920. They probably put them in mulatto or other. Yeah, you see, there's a lot of other. Who was a mulatto? A mulatto was black. No, that was. Yes, no, no. Well, Why they have mulatto on the list? Listen, okay. listen. That was, that was on the 1890 census. So you saying they mulattoes now? No, I'm just saying that that's what no, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna read it to you. Puerto Ricans I'm coming a, in. I'm gonna read it to you right now. A right, before before you do that, real quick, let me just say this because I, I was watching a special years ago about uh uh v, I think it was uh, World War II veterans, and they were showing Puerto Ricans, and he said that they the U.S. government didn't know how to uh, place them in a the category. Oh no, because, they did because they said then we we're, we're not. We don't want to be black, but then at the same time, we weren't white. So they, they're like, I don't know how it to. It don't matter. It don't matter. But see, you, wait, you, hold on see. one second, yeah. though, before start, and then, and then y'all can get it. Because I'm going to finish this up. Because I, I, I just want to make him see that he trapped himself by saying mulatto. They took mulatto off the census in 1930. I didn't trap myself because I also saved myself by saying other, too. <laughs> no, 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 listen. No, listen. but he wasn't other. They're, they're not other, though. They're, they're who? Literally Negro. No, that, see, you're you're that, saying that, that though. No, no, no. Listen, but, this is what you got. This is what you got to understand. I want you to listen. White folks were doing the racial integrity act, but by 1930, Garvey has activated the whole fucking diaspora, nigga. Everybody's Negro, nigga. You got to know your history. In 1930, everybody's claiming Negro. Nobody want to be other. They have racial pride, bro. Now, I got to hey, disagree with you, and you're a, Marvi, a Garvey critic, so I'm kind of surprised yes. to hear that from you. <laughs> no, because you know what? The truth is true. I, I teach history. I'm not necessarily a critic. It's a fact. He activated the diaspora, bro. What do you mean? What diaspora? The African diaspora. The whole diaspora. 
where he was doing business at, when he was going and they were giving parades and cheering him on his way in. All of them wanted to be Negro, nigga. What so, do you mean? So you're talking about, I, I don't recall ever seeing a documentary where I saw Hispanics cheering on Marcus Garvey and say, yeah, I'm black, I'm a soldier. Hey, 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 well, look, well, look, let me read this to you. Oh, look at this here. No, hold on. Let, hey, Tad, let me read this to him so we can shut this down. Let me shut this down real quick. Watch this, right? Hold on, let me read this. The biggest change w was in racial classification. Enumerators were instructed to no longer use the term mulatto classifications. Instead, they were given special instructions for reporting the race of interracial persons. A person with white or black lineage was not to be recorded. Wait a minute. A person with white or black was to be was to be recorded as black, no matter the faction of that lineage. A person of mixed black and Indian lineage was also to be, be recorded as black. I'm trying to tell you. So when you look at the movements of the Harlem Renaissance and all this, you're going to see black and and and, and uh, 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 people from the, the the islands all together in Harlem. That's what made up New York. No, no, sorry, 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 sorry. What you just read. That was classification uh, classifications for Black America. I just yeah. told you. I just I, told I, 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 but that wasn't for imported Black. Did you just hear what I said? When they yeah. got here, when they, when they got here in America, and they were people of mixed race, they were considered Black, and they was in Black neighborhoods. They was in Black. I'm gonna tell you something. All we back then, a lot of us growing up now, because a lot of Black people don't even know who their grandfathers are. A lot of y'all grandfathers came from the Caribbean, and you wouldn't even know it. Because no, no, mind people, it. Mind hold it. on, wait a minute, bro. God damn, I'm not talking about you. What I'm saying is if you live on the East Coast, like places like from Boston down to Virginia, uh, 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 and you look at the, uh, the, the rush for, uh, 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 in 1790, all the, way up, all, all the way up to about 1972, you had immigrants flooding New York and Philadelphia and Washington, D.C. And Nova Scotia. So, and people were yeah. black. You have to know the history. A lot of times we speak off yeah. of new stuff, but we don't understand what made uh, the cities that we live in. No, I do, mm -hmm. and I understand also that we were talking about Hispanics in particular. I and just you got told all... you Hispanics. <laughs> no, 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 no. You keep switching it back and forth. Dude, to, uh, listen, not, people, not like, people like people like. But, 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 but the main thing is, though, so no, you guys probably, have different right. backgrounds. That's the problem. So you keep trying to no, make us have no, these no. backgrounds too, which we do no, not. No, no, I'm telling you. No, no. What I'm telling you is, see, this they, is the difference. Like, I'm right. I'm, the difference. I'm reading the classifications in the history to you. You just talking. I'm reading it to you literally. But it didn't say when a Hispanic <laughs> comes here, this is how they get class. That's what and I did. That was saying part two. And George, he thinks Hispanic is a race. We got to clear that up first. Okay, okay. No, yeah, I don't. No, let me clear that up. I don't think Hispanics is a race. I'm one of the main ones who Hispanic, says no. But, what, but, what, but let's clear it up then. Watch this Hispanic. See, you got to. This way, we got to learn how to comprehend and listen. It said anything black and white is considered black. Anything black and Indian. Where do who, where do Puerto Ricans and Dominicans, Cubans come from? The mixture of black, white, and Indian. So it so they are part of that classification. Sir, sir, sir. sir. Oh that, my God. That's hey, the classifications God. for American God. populations, God. not God. for imported Hispanics. God. Because God. then you got the Mexican types who don't fit any of that category. The Mexicans is on the other side. Oh my God, man. What the <laughs> when you say Hispanics, though, don't you know you're talking about black people too? Because you right, keep right. Hispanic is a language, bro. It's, it's not <laughs> right. I, I, believe me, believe me. You're talking to an expert on the situation. Believe me. I, I don't. I, I don't. Get, I don't get emotional. I, but listen, I don't get emotional. Listen, George. I don't. George. George. We read it to you. Listen, but George. Listen. Listen. You're not arguing history. You just. But, but listen. See, you're getting emotional, though. You're getting emotional. Because you're saying how you feel, and we're no, no, no. You're, you're the one who says how you feel because you're getting emotional. I'm speaking. No, nah, I'm getting emotional. If I read another black man plus, in history, plus if I'm saying you, this, have, you, you have, have a Caribbean background, or it's, that's no. Listen, I got a Caribbean. I got an African American father. Oh, oh I got an African American father. I'm born here. I wasn't even raised on that side. I'm well, born, I, I could be born. I could be born in China, but so, uh, I'm, that I'm, doesn't mean I'm Chinese. What, I, what I'm saying to you, no. What I'm saying, this is the problem I have with you. Actually, it means nationality. You're Chinese by na by nationality, but racially, you're still but, black. So your yeah, race doesn't yeah. change. It's just your nationality. No, That's this is my problem. I got. If me and Taz is showing you the census and we're telling you. What happened? Even when they got to America, they no. You make you're making that part up, though. That's the problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm gonna make it up. Let me see this. This is this is the problem I got with black men like you. I'm gonna put the link in the chat because you the problem like you is you heard other black people. 
because now you're in your ego, and I'm saying you want to tell me I'm making up something I'm reading to you. Like, what the fuck is that? You you, you haven't read anything that said when a uh, Puerto Rican or a Cuban a or Puerto Dominican. Rican, a Puerto Rican is a, is Indian, black and white. Okay, now you, now you see you're making stuff up. Where does it say? Where did they say where that? Where does the U.S. Where, government where, say that? Where does the Puerto Rican come from? No, 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 no. You said you're reading it from a, a, a government where, document. Where does a Puerto Rican come from? A Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. Puerto Rico. What is Puerto Rico? An island. There was no, but 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 there was no Puerto Rico in the 1400s. It was made. What is Puerto Rico and what is a Puerto Rican? Puerto Ricans are mulattoes who have mixed with other mulattoes. Mixed with what? I said mulattoes mixing with mixed, other mulattoes. Mixed with what? Mulattoes right. mixing with other mulattoes. See, you're being disingenuous what? because you know what he's trying to say is right. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying it plain. I mean, you know, know what a mulatto is, is right? I'll tell you, for no reason. You know what a mulatto is. You right? know what he's saying. But what is the Puerto Rican mixed with? What is the Cuban mixed with? What is the uh, Dominican mixed with? Because there was no Dominicans in the 1400s. They were they they were right. created. Dominicans were created right. with them. So what is the Dominican? The Dominican is primarily a black person with a little bit of. But some people might want to call white and some Indian, right? No, no, I don't, no, hell with that. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, there's some Indian. Oh, there. Never, never yeah, mind. For you, got sure. it, you got it, man. I'm done. Yeah, yeah. No, for sure. But, the question well, Otto, present, present, let him present his evidence, though. I'm, I'm, I'm good, good, bro. I'm good. Make sure you understand how this is what, what, that you know what they were when they got here, that you know why they were that. You know what I'm saying? They got here, they claimed to be black or Negro. African American, however you want to put it, because that is what was being distributed throughout the diaspora. You're black, you're all bro. Get on board. We are black. I love black people. That's what was going on. So by the time 1930 came, any person here came through this pipeline, dog. I'm only giving you real history. This is the pipeline to being in America. No, see, but see, those are. I'm sure Garvey, he went by people who are what he considered African black. But this was 110 years ago. I hear, I see, I see. A lot has happened in 110 years. Uh, that's 106. I see, but you got to understand, uh, that's not the U.S. government policy. That's what I'm trying to see, say, because that's what right, George so, said he so was right, reading. So take, right. So, boom. So, let's, let's take it from there. So, again, the U.S. government policy is white, black. Other and you're telling me they're gonna, I mean, excuse me, white, Negro, and other. And you're telling me these people who have been given all of this pride in being Negro are gonna choose other when they get to this country. All right, let's that. before I answer that, let me uh say this first. <laughs> of course, <laughs> uh, you say all this pride, right? This black pride, right? Yes, Cuba, uh, that, since that's at the top of the list. Uh, <laughs> uh, what black pride did Cubans have, especially under Batista? You know about him? What the fuck? Okay, so that that's like that. asking, wait. So that's like asking how much black pride do we have under Trump? That's a stupid question. No, it's not because this is not a black country. Cuba's hey, supposed you, to be a black do country. You know, do, do you know who Antonio Mateo was? No, no, no. See, I don't. No, I don't no, 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 I, no, no, no. Yeah, but I asked you the question. Mm -hmm. I asked the question though. Where's the but answer? Yeah, I, I just. No, but I'm at, I'm 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 going to answer, but I'm asking a question because you no, put it out there. Why, why don't you answer second? first, and then no, then no, we move on to the next? Answer. I'm going to answer, but I had to ask that you know. But you haven't even shown the evidence that, uh, of your previous uh, argument first. I did show the evidence of my. No, previous you didn't. Argument. I did. I just told you. I just told you that in America, in America, they classified you based off of what you was made up of. So when you got here, if you was, they never called you. Wasn't called a mulatto no more. They if didn't you, call. They, but that was for. People who were here, not people who those that got here. Was, those that got here fell under those classifications. That's why Walter Flecker put the Racial Integrity Act in. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Listen, man, I don't deal with emotions. I deal with facts. No, you ain't talking no facts. And the, fa and, the fa and the facts are when people have other type of backgrounds, they want to try and dilute our background and our history in order to accommodate themselves. But when you say our, who was our history? Black Americans. 
What, what do you know about Black American history? Let's see what you know. What do you know about Black American history? <laughs> See, this is this is how people over there. This is how they do. They keep asking question after question, but they don't want to answer anything. You talk about Black American history. I mean, you know, you 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 talking to a historian. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you, oh, you're a historian. Okay, that's good. That's good. Diaspora, to be honest, that was you who went to the diaspora by questioning Nigeria. Don't get it twisted. Now, well, no, no. Actually, we, we were stuck on the Hispanic. That's what uh, I was. You, he kept he kept switching yeah, back and forth. You, I'm listening. You went to the diaspora. Go ahead. You no, I, I I didn't really go there though. But that's what, they went th they went there because they they're a part of that. Uh, oh, bro, activity. You went there, bro. I, I was listening, but it's but cool. George is a historian. He just said he's a historian. You, so we, yeah, you, said, you, talking about black, you talking about black American black American history, but I'm just trying to figure out <laughs> when, when when you talking about the context. What, I mean, what is black American history? Okay, before we before we do that, let's clarify with uh, Batista and, and, and his pro blackness. Uh, well, since Batista, you're a historian, Batista, Batista wasn't pro black. Wasn't pro black. He hated his own people. Okay, so, so then that means that the had, people coming from those countries on that list that no, were energized no, by no, 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 Chris no, and Garvey. No, if no, you're no, leaving no, that no, country, no, wouldn't Cuba, it be likely that you were trying to get away from that? Cuba was already Cuba had, was already having revolutions in that country where the black with the black Cubans was already kicking up dust and rebelling in that country. Yeah, right, it, so, so right there, there's, there's no black pride. Citizen. No black pride, case closed. <laughs> Who is this guy, man? Like, I can't. Like, come on, man. I'm the man. I'm the man who you can't win against. We spoke, we spoke before. Look, look, watch this. Look how dumb this was. I'm, I'm, be, I'm just being honest. Because there's a difference between being emotional than when you just got a dude on here, like, he's just making a. He just said, Black Fire, right? I said that, the, that there was revolutions in Cuba, right? Since the 1800s, right? All the way up until the 1900s, and Batista was committing genocide against the black Cubans. And when you look at the history of Cuba, you'll see it. You'll see the Mikhail family and different families and different factions of wars that was taking place. So there had to be black pride for them to even for there to even be revolutions. So okay. what are you talking about? Well, see, you're trying to conflate things. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, I'm done. I'm yeah, done. I know you I know you're done. Now what was Batista? What was his background? So watch this. Instead of him saying, you know what, George, let me, let me look up and, and see who, who you're talking about. He just was talking about conflate. See, you get, people, people get emotional because they don't have the facts. It's, to not, emotional. it's not emotional. This is, my, this, is, this is my family background. I know the history of Cuba. Okay, so, okay, so what was Batista's background? What was No, what I'm saying to you is in a respectful uh, uh, dialogue, if I bring up, if you make the statement about Batista and I'm telling you about the revolutions, the first thing you should say is, well, either I know who the Mikhail family is and I know about the revolution, so let me check it out. You know what no, you the first thing? No, the first thing I should hear is who you Batista was no and, and what he did. You know, you said there was no black pride. What about Batista? And I explained to you that there was because there was black revolutions uh, going. There was there, there, there was fighting going on. So there had to be some type of black pride and acknowledgement of who they are to even come together and fight. No, no, no. That's because they were being victims. That's not black pride. That's we're getting picked on. We're being targeted. We gotta that's fight. Okay. False point, though. I didn't, I didn't. But see, he had the list of nations and said that these are our nations that have black pride because of Marcus Garvey. And I'm tell, I'm trying to ask, where was the Cuban black pride? Okay, so again, and I got like now listen because you have to listen. That you're you're looking for a national level of black pride that I'm not referring to. We're talking individuals. Individuals that would have went and joined his organization and helped it grow, which is why it grew to over fifty on the uh, on the uh, in the country of Cuba. See what I'm saying? Like you like you can't make it sound like he wasn't working in the diaspora with people and growing his businesses for them couple of years he was in business. That was my only point. That okay. they were able to establish some level of racial pride to the point where. His organization grew, and then when those people would have come here, they would have brought that pride with them. They would have been fleeing a Batista. That's what I don't I don't get your point. Okay, so no, well, maybe I mistook what you were saying or what point you were trying to make, which is I thought you were trying to make the point that all those countries on that list that you had had black identity and black racial pride. And therefore, once they came to the United States. Wait, wait, yes, there are people from those countries that have that based on what Garvey did. Okay, and now there's people from those countries. But yeah. the man ain't do nothing else, but a man ignited the diaspora, bro. 
That's, that's, I always give him yeah. credit. There, there, I, there is a, all right, let's, there's let's, let's give another, let's, let's give another example. Currently right now about that. Let's give so another example. Know. We got Sammy Davis Jr., a Cuban. Did he have black pride or was he kind of forced into it? it what? It don't matter. Yes, it does. <laughs> okay, so tell me what you mean by forced into it first. Because of all the racism he experienced during his uh, uh, career. And look at who his children were. Is that black pride? Look when who you, he he risked his life to get a white woman. Were you born during his were you uh, born during his time? Do you what do you know about Sammy Davis Jr.? I mean, we wasn't there. I'm to, just I'm to, telling you about him right no, now. No, you no, but that would be like that would be like my, my unborn, one of my unborn grandchildren telling me about what I'm experiencing now. And what, what's bad about that is, again, it's back to the point where it was acceptable to bring in a white woman and didn't nobody do shit about it. It was it was cool. Generations kept going doing that shit. So we can judge Sammy Davis Jr., but it's generations before him that was calling those children uh, black and bringing them in. We accepted the drop rule the way it was written. All right, cool. We'll just take them off. That's so he said... So so are you saying that... Are you basically what you're trying... Are you basically trying to say that in the Caribbean... There was no black pride, but there was black pride in America. Now I want the audience to listen. You see how I was talking about Cuba and Sammy Davis Jr. Now he breaks it. He, he, he wants to incorporate no, the entire. I, I, I got the same. I got the same. I the no, I'm asking. I'm that's asking. what I was that's thinking. All. I'm not even being funny. I'm just asking. Like, 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 no, I know you're not being funny. You're being slick. That's what you're being. No, I'm really not. What I'm saying is, Caribbean. 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 Caribbean at that time. We have Queen Nanny in Jamaica. We have Sam yeah, Sharp. I was about to say that. You have well, well, Jamaica, Jamaica have is dismissed. A... I'm talking about the Hispanics. That's what that's where we started this whole thing at. You said the West Indian. What? No, no, no. No, we started with Hispanics. That's what we started no, talking we ta about. We, we, we talked well, we're about, talking we, about we, black we got, pride though. Right. Into... Now, see now yeah. I think no, you but you but we only got now. into that. We only got into that based off of classifications and the acts and stuff. But that's we talking about that's neither neither, neither here nor no, there. No, no, that, no, that about... is the core of the topic that we no, started no, no, that talking about. Core, that wasn't the core of the topic. That's something that you threw in, but that wasn't no, the no, that, that wasn't what I threw in. That's what I was talking about. Then you guys started mixing up with other Caribbeans back and forth. That wasn't what we was talking about. You no, it, no, it was. It was. No, it really wasn't. We was. We weren't talking about Hispanics. We wasn't. And, talking I, and, about and I'm still keeping a roll decks that you never answer any of my questions either. So, uh, <laughs> I, 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 listen, listen. If, if, if that's you okay, you won the argument. Then all right, I, you you got the argument. You won. Well, I already yeah. knew that before well, I even started talking. Yeah, quick though, you, George you Lincoln. Yes, but like, you, okay, so he was talking about the Hispanics, right? But isn't Jamaica considered a Latin country? So wouldn't that qualify? No, no, it's not. It's not. But, but, ha but ha Haiti is considered a Latin uh, country. Uh, but there was also th so there weren't revolutions in on Haiti. <laughs> in so Haiti? now, you, now you talk, you go from Latin to revolutions, and no, you, now, you now, now you're trying to incorporate Jamaica listen, with Hispanics. Listen, 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 but that's listen. what you Did said, you black and common. That's what it hold is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's stop a test. Hey Ted, this is my first time up. This is your first time up here, right? You, on Texas, you, but I spoke to you before. Uh, yeah, on, but uh, you, you came up like you came up to what you came up to like one up everything, or or you came up. To no, listen no, to I, I just come to make points. And if people are, but I don't. I, but I, no, no, no. But I, I'm I'm a man just like you. I ain't just cut, cut, get off a turn up truck. Now, now you know this, I, I, but I, you I, know I, this I, how you don't answer my questions, but you didn't no, let me I, finish I, answering. No, because what I, you know why? Because everything that me and Taz showed you that was historical, you told me that you told us that we was wrong. No, hey, so like you, and but then, and then, listen, but hold on, hold on, hold on, let me let me just explain myself. From what you told me and what was shown, it didn't support what you said it was. What you mean? What you mean it was shown? It did support what I said it was. No, I you didn't. You said it was from the government. That's, that's what you no, said. That's what I'm gonna show you. I, I'm gonna show you again. Cause see, this is the problem. You got a problem listening. I'm gonna say it again. What I said was it was a reason why. They had the uh, inter, uh, uh, Racial Integrity Act. And you got to study around the time when groups, immigrants started to come into America, right? And when they start implementing certain laws. So now when I ask you specifically, I said, what is a mulatto coming from the Caribbean, mainly Latin countries made, uh, uh, made up of? Black, Native American, and white. That's not a mulatto. That's not a mulatto. Right. Am I wrong? Am I wrong about that? A mulatto, a mulatto. It says that in the night after 1930, they were no longer called mulattoes. Anything of black and white was considered black. 
And then it's right up under it, it specifically says anything of Indian and black is considered black. So all of those classifications that make up a so-called, those Latinos came up, they fall under. So you're, you're, you're making up your own definition. Oh, I just showed you that. I, I don't what know if you're- fuck? I just showed you that. Right, but he said, he asked me what a mulatto was. I yeah. just know what I, oh my, see, that, that, that's what, that, right, all right, man, all right. See, George Macon, he likes to interrupt before he hears the answer. No, but no, it, no. It, it it's, not even, right. no, it's not even an answer. What I don't respect is, what I don't respect about uh, when we when we have conversations, because I've, I've been a, a young man and been a black man all my life, and I know nigga shit when I hear it. What I don't respect- Believe me, about, I do too. <laughs> no, what I, what I don't respect about other black men is when 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 it's black men having a conversation, right? If me and Taz, I'll give you an example, me and Taz was going back and forth just uh, uh, about an hour ago when I agreed with Nala, right? So what I did was I came with the definition and we debated it, right? What I'm saying is when, when we pull up the facts and we explain it, not from my words or my feelings, and I'm telling you, then I'll tell you, well, this is why they brought this law out, right? And we can show the laws and the history when you get it. And I know how we do towards each other as black men. What you, what you what you're doing is that's just ego instead of saying, you know what, I understand that point. And you know what? Show me where they put that law in in Virginia and then in places like Louisiana and 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 all right, Taz, you got this one, man. I, I'm I'm done, man. I, I can't. Uh, now, I, I respect black people's knowledge, but I don't. <laughs> I, 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 what I don't respect is a, a emotional argument where people start filling in their own. Information. I, I know, but just go ahead over and see. You brought up the word emotional. You brought up the word emotional again, and I'm gonna tell you, as a black man, with everything that we go through and the way we try and why we got to educate our people. If you ain't emotional, or angry, then I look at you like you're funny. You should be angry and emotional. But say if you're over emotional, I look at I look at you like you're, you're not able to think clearly. No, 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 no. Your emotion should be controlled to teaching. See, because the difference is the difference is not to be angry and emotional and still hold down the family and programs and do stuff for my people. So and and I can still teach. See, the thing is when we dealing with Negroes, what the problem with black men is. We don't know how to receive instruction from each other without one up in each other because we don't respect each other. And like right. I said, I know what like you. Right. Right. See, then we, then we start the name calling the Negroes, the Coons, all that. I'm on here, bro, but I still be teachers. So, like, you got to right. man. Like, right, so that emotional shit's bullshit. Like, like nigga, go on with them niggas. Now, everybody yeah. listening can hear that there's only one man that's emotional. Right. No, 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 no. It's one, it's, it's one, it's one. But hold on, George. Hold on, George. If you don't get it, bro, at some point it does evoke a level of emotion because as a black man, I expect you to understand that. I'm but just Taz, like you now. Fill in the blank, bro. But You're Taz, I did it. ask the man to explain himself, and every time he said, I'm done with this. I explained it to you. Before oh, he I'm avoided it. Every the chat room laugh. You asked me what a mulatto was, and then I know what a mulatto is. I'm sure most people know what a mulatto is. Know what a mulatto is. Right. But you, but Anna, but you threw your own definition of a mulatto in there. I didn't throw my own definition. Oh, oh, listen, listen, what George said exactly was the direct point, bro, and you skipped over it. He said after 1930, they weren't classified as that anymore. What were they? You skipped over that because that was the original point. No, he skipped over it. What? No. You because because no, he threw he threw in some Indian stuff. That's I what he listen, bro. You questioned me about the 